Hello everyone, welcome to this. I haven't made a tutorial in a long time, so I decided to indulge you guys in making you guys a tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to build your first mobile application for um, tablets and iPhones or droids. Um, anyway, uh, let's get started. Um, I'm going to open a new HTML document. And we're going to need a few jQuery files, which will be in the description, so you guys can grab those. Alright, um, so let's get started. Let's paste in the jQuery files that I needed. And those are the few jQuery files I need. The descriptions will be there. So I'm just going to name this mobile. Now let's jump into the heart of things and in the meat of things. So, first of all, we're going to create a div and we're going to give it the data role. And we're going to give it a data role equals page. make a lot of drop downs here. Now we're going to do some more div tags. Come on, what happened to this stupid thing? And we're going to give this data role and we're going to call this one, um, let's call this one Heather. Okay. Inside our header, we're going to create some navigation bars. Now, inside our header, we're going to create some um, just some heading tags. And I'm going to insert one head tag. You can do that by hitting control um, number one. Um, so, inside here, we're just going to call this uh, da, 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 da. mobile application. Um, <coughs> we're going to insert a few more um, data roles in here. So I just paste in my data role. I'm going to call this navbar. Okay. Not sure what the heck I happened there. Okay. So Let's give some space between our head tags and our nav bar so it will keep things kind of tidy. Um, I'll understand what the heck I'm doing here. Inside our nav bar, we're just going to create some simple UL tags. So it's unordered list, that's what we're creating in an unordered list. And inside our unordered list, we're going to create some regular list tags. Now, Inside our list tags, we need to just name them just like we do any other thing, whatever we want the buttons to say. So let's do home. And I'm going to pause the video and create a few more. Okay, so I'm back. Um, all I did was create a few more list tags and I linked them. So you want to link it. So inside your L tag, just link, put some links to the menu buttons that you created. So that's all I've done here. And I just indent my, my code so it looks a lot cleaner and I don't get confused. So <coughs> let's keep rolling. So we're going to do a div data role just like we did before and we're going to call this one content. Inside our content is where we would place whatever we want to show up on the page itself. So it's be in regular design terms, it would be like your wrapper or your main content area or you know something like that, something to that um, effect. It would be something like that. So now we're going to need one more div row again. And this one we're going to do, we're going to call this one footer. Now inside our footer, we can, you can put whatever you like. So let's do an H4 tag in that. And we're just going to say footer. Now let's save all of this. It's going to ask me where I want to name this. I'm just going to call this mobile. So 
save. No, 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 no. Come on, stop doing that, man. Mobile. Ah, screw it. It's gonna call it one, two, three, four. Because I have a folder called mobile, it's trying to save it in that folder. Now, let's preview this and see what we have. Whoops, I don't have my server up. Hold on, guys. Okay, so this is what we have. As you can see, we have created our first mobile application. And this is the buttons for the application and everything like that. But we're going to get a little bit more in-depth in with it. So um, let's minimize this. I'm going to grab some text. My I like Lorem Ipsum, so I'm going to grab some of that. Okay, so I grabbed some text and I'm back. I'm just going to paste this into my application. Um, I'm just going to hit Control S to save it, go back to my browser, and I'm going to refresh. And there you go. We have our first mobile application going. We have a footer. We have a header with some buttons on it. And we're going to we're gonna turn this up a notch. Don't worry. So if you, if you pull this in, picture that being a cell phone, you will have nice little mobile application going as well. And if that was a tablet, you will still have some nice little rollover effects and you know all that stuff going for you as well so let's minimize that okay guys so let's turn this all up a notch okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to add some effects to these and first we're going to start off with our header let's just say we want our header to stay in place whenever we scroll the content we'd like our header to stay in place and don't move or it will disappear and reappear right it will always be at the top whenever um, you scroll right so to do that we just need to put some more um, properties in so we go data position we just put the position as fixed and let's do the same for the footer just so you guys will see what I'm talking about now let's save this because I know you guys know watch what happens let's go in when you scroll see they're fixed they don't go anywhere they're always at the top they stay where they need to stay and they don't go anywhere that's what I mean so they're fixed in place the footer and the header so in your in your mobile phone or in your tablet only the content on the page will move as you guys can see so yeah alright now let's give the navigation bar some cool looking effects and some cool properties as well okay now for a navigation bar you want to go inside your link your a tag here to give them the effect we're going to give them let's say you want them to have um, icons or whatever you want them to have um, let some of the icons on it on the buttons like you see in applications all the time that's pretty easy to achieve so you just go da da dash icon and for this one we're going to give it a home icon and for this for this one we're going to do the same thing but we're just going to give it some different icons um, I'm not sure which icon to give this one but I think there's an icon called contact so let's give it that one and for this one we're going to give it the icon called info I think contact and info is the same icon I am not exactly sure so don't hold me on that now let's jump back to our mobile application refresh our browser as you can see we got some nice icons going on on our buttons so we could give those some nice little contact buttons as you can see your mobile application is coming together nicely 
I'm going to add some menu down in the footer area of the page as well. Um, let's do that. Let's just copy this. Let's just grab the nav bar, the entire navigation bar. Just copy that and drop it down in the footer. So we could do like that. we could paste that in as well so you could use these footer buttons for whatever you like so let's say let's take out um, about us and let's leave home so let's just say you always want the home button at the bottom uh, you can put this into full screen mode as well you know what let's create let's just take out all of this and leave just the contact and you could just rename contact um, like customer service or something like that Control S to save. Refresh. And there we go. We have a nice button. You can take out the the, um, the tag if you want to remove the footer. Just take out this yikes. This tag right here, that F4 tag. And it will remove the footer from your video, from your fields. Now you have a nice customer service bar here. Contact us home about us and you have a beautiful mobile application going you can put whatever you need to put inside here let's just grab a video and I'll stick it in there just to show you guys okay now I'm back guys I got a video from YouTube I'm just gonna embed it here and I kinda want my video a little bit bigger than that so I'm gonna put height at 600 pixels uh, no you know what let's do 480 pixels and let's do the width at 90% that way it will scale now let's jump back to our browser and if we refresh there we have our video YouTube go over um, these things I have a I have a video on how to fix that YouTube thing where YouTube will go over the contents like you will go over the button here see I have a video on how to fix that see how it scrolls over the buttons there's a video on my channel if you guys want to check that out and how to fix that but just want to show you guys that you can add anything you like in here this is one of my videos about Bugatti Vera and I'm fascinated with it alright guys thanks for watching hope that helps bye